<laughs> what can you tell us about your parents? This is the hardest part. All right, here's what I can tell you. Um, Erica Kravid is the CEO and mastermind and head of a gigantic corporation. Mm -hmm. um, Self-made woman, uh, very driven, very single-minded, um, and with laser clear vision and a teenage daughter. Oh, that seems like it's ripe for conflict. Right? What mother-daughter relationship is not ripe for conflict, no matter how well one gets along with their mother? Yes. Right? Uh-huh. Um, is, is, is her teenage daughter in our press sheet here? She's not. Okay. She's played by a woman, she's 25, a woman. Mm -hmm. um, Eve Harlow is her name, and she's great. Oh, wow. She's this gorgeous, you know, Russian, you know, fantastic um, girl, and they go at it. She really, she gets to question me. I get to push her. It's, you know. Can you tell us which side of the heroes or superpowered people battle? It says that you have an agenda. I have an. I have. I have a but, big agenda. And, and is it going to be obvious which side of the war you're going to be on? Basically, do you or your daughter have powers? I guess that's my thoughts. Um, Erica's powers are her vision, her money, and her reach. Um, you can't ask the first question. No. <laughs> I try. I know. I'm sorry. Can you talk about um, the interactions um, with the other uh, members of the team that you work with? Yeah, my main... Um, so far, we're only halfway through shooting, but so far my my main stuff has been with Eve and um, a Canadian actor named Clay Bennett, who's fan another fantastic, um, great-looking, terrific actor. Um, and he was in the. Were you guys? Did you see the? He's in the extended trailer with the. And he does this gigantic fight scene with Mossy, and anyway, he's my henchman essentially, and does my becking and calling. Um, and then I run, you know, I start to run into and cross paths with, and you know, like the original heroes, everyone starts out kind of at the outer circle of, and then we slowly, everyone kind of slowly starts to come in, and then it all. So right now we're all just starting to come together. I cross paths with HRG. Um, and uh, and now I'm starting to come close to some of the young ones, to, to Robbie Kay's character Tommy, and to the girls. Hasn't quite happened yet, but let's see. Prior to joining the show, did, were you into the whole comic genre, and, and that, or were you not familiar with it now? But maybe you have you kind of gotten into it since joining the show. Well, I watched. I mean, the Heroes World. I had watched the first two seasons whenever those were, and I sat down and rewatched all of them. As opposed to the kind of the, the, the comic book world, I know of that through my kids. And I have two teenagers, so, you know, through there, particularly my son's world and his, um, but otherwise that's new to me, and I've never been here before. This is my first, this is my first time ever well, at Comic-Con. Oh my God, it's amazing. It's amazing. We walked the Had I yet? known, yes, I went and walked the floor today. Because I thought, you're here, you've got to go and see I mean, that's what this is, this whole, the whole point of this is for, right, the people that love this world to go and see and dress and it's, it's fantastic. And I have a really good friend who's a writer and a director and he comes every year. I mean, I've known him for almost 20 years and he's come every year and this is the one year he's in Toronto working. And I was like, <laughs> the one year you're not here? I can't believe it. Quentin, where are you? He's, of course, you know, he's working with J.J. Abrams on his project in Toronto right now. So I thought, you know, you need an expert to guide you through. Yeah. But fun. Yeah, it's really spectacular. Have you gone through the Heroes Reborn experience? Yes, I there? did that today, too. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you have fire superpowers like the rest yes, of Yes, now? now I do. Uh -huh. I know, that's what I kept saying. Can I just give me some superpowers by the end? Can I have... My superpowers are material and uh, brain-driven. 
I think. I have one question yeah. that I'm hoping you can answer, which is, um, as compared to some of the other roles that you've had, what kind of sets this one apart? Like, the strength, I, I can tell you like strong characters, or strong women kind of characters. What sets this role apart from some of the other characters you've played? Um, well, it's it. I mean, I feel like my career, I guess, um, is split into, I worked the whole way through my 20s, I had my kids in my 30s and stopped working and stayed home, and I'm 45 now, I went back to work, I guess, five years ago, um, and there's, a, just with age and becoming more in my skin and more in my being, there's a strength that, in, that innately comes, I mean, which I feel like I'm loving and celebrating and an ease. And I know that that's, a, that's not really what you were asking, but that's the difference of when I, when I think about them. I mean, she's such a, you know what, here it is. Erica's really, it's like she wears a suit of armor every day. She is like fierce and it is, there is nothing left to chance. She is so controlled and so, and that's not how I live my life and that's not how anything I've played before. So that's a blast. Someone who really like figuring out where the cracks are and where they exist underneath that is, uh, that's new. Does that answer? Yeah, yeah. Kind of? Absolutely. That was a better answer. Yeah. <laughs> I got distracted on the whole bigger picture question.